tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create a spiral half tone gradient effect. Now, first thing to do, go over to the gradient, make certain it's spiral and gradients panel over here. Just go to window and gradients to make sense there. You can modify a number of spiral arms. You can just change that. And I'm going to go with that. So just drag that out. Now, obviously select whatever gradient you want. Now I've applied difference there. If you don't want difference, you can actually just course apply it. Just go back to default and just apply it like that. Got the design. Now that's quite nice. So just going to click OK, commit it. And then that's one thing when you commit it, actually commit gradient, it has been committed. It's very slightly odd in the sense because it's still got the tool active. So now, first thing to do, just go over here to effects and esoterica and pop art fill. And there you are, you've got a nice spiral half tone gradient very quickly. Now you can modify the scale so you can change that, make it bigger dots, smaller dots, modify the contrast if you want or not. Change the colour, background or the dab colour. So if you want, you can go for the blue one. Now, click OK. What you can do then, obviously, once you've done that, you can finish, but I'm just going to undo that and I'm going to add to that gradient. So what I can do now, just go to the gradient tool again and use spiral again, using the same. Could, of course, use a different gradient. Doesn't matter. You can use different ones and I'm going to use difference this time. So I'm just going to drag that out here. Now, sometimes the result's not so great. You can always say discard, or you can go there and apply it again. If you're happy with the design, then commit it. That's it. So it's committed, it vanishes, and then you just go to effects and esoterica and pop art fill. And again, this time I'm going to go for black. So I'm just going to go for black. And you see that. So you can create a whole range of lovely half-tone backgrounds using this technique of difference and gradients combined. Click OK. Now, also what you can do, of course, you can go to maybe effects, image warp, but I'm just going to go for, just going to find it, surface control and quick warp. And then you can use maybe swirl and create some very unusual sort of swirled designs using that. Again, with the pop art feel, and gradients combined. Click OK. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you very much.